A Hamilton man is struggling to get by after someone stole the electric wheelchair he relied on to get around. At the same time, he says he's grateful for an astonishing show of generosity from people in Hamilton that keeps him going from week to week. Al Sweeney has a story. Steve Rodriguez is going through hard times, especially when it comes to getting around. He hasn't been able to work since breaking his pelvis in a construction accident eight years ago and relies on the Ontario Disability Support Program. When you're on ODSP, you, you got to eke out a living. Things got even worse for Steve just before Christmas when someone stole his electric wheelchair. It was my legs. It got me wherever I needed to go. I really uh, cannot function the way I did, uh, uh, even hobbling around inside my apartment. Despite the struggle, Steve made it to the weekly Gore Park Community Outreach Food Bank that operates here on Saturday mornings. There's people that are down here that have nothing else, so this is the only thing that's available on the weekend. This volunteer food bank serves donated groceries and hot meals to as many as 400 people. There's even more, like haircuts. My goodness, what a big difference. <laughs> that's great, thank you. Uh, on Saturdays, I decided to uh, come here and give Hamilton uh, a little bit of uh, joy and, and love here and give people who are, you know, in a position like this to, uh, you know, better their confidence and their self-esteem. For Steve, the Saturday morning food bank is a lifeline. It's vital to, to for, for my uh, life and uh, uh, I really uh, uh, am grateful that uh, Hamilton provides something like this. As for the wheelchair, Steve and his friends don't have anything good to say about a wheelchair thief. Oh, that's lowest of the low, my friend. Uh, the, uh, you, that's like stealing an old lady's purse off her shoulder. Uh, I, I can't imagine someone would stoop to those levels. It's not fair that somebody steals his chair like that. Or take a wheelchair, period. But they're hoping something comes up. A GoFundMe page would be all right. Or somebody that has an extra chair that they're not using. These electric wheelchairs cost around eight or nine thousand dollars. Steve says the disability support program won't give him another wheelchair for four years or so. Adam?